Hello and welcome to CCTV America. I'm Susan Roberts. We begin in Iraq, where the humanitarian airlift continues to help thousands of refugees trapped on a mountaintop near the border with Syria. Despite the relief efforts there, thousands more continue to flee Islamic militants in that region. U.S. President Obama authorized military strikes to help stem the insurgency now nearing Erbil. He's now provided an update. CCTV's Jessica Stone joins us now with the latest. Jessica. And Susan, we are seeing the U.S. president a lot lately, it seems. He spoke late Thursday night to authorize these strikes in a primetime speech. And now, before heading off to his family vacation, he's speaking again. We learned through his speech that uh, England and France have now pledged to join the humanitarian aid effort to those Yazidis on Mount Sinjar near the Syrian border. These are food and water drops primarily. The Iraqi government has also released this video of its forces providing humanitarian aid there. U.S. President Barack Obama said the two rounds of U.S. military strikes launched so far have destroyed Islamic State arms and equipment, he says, could have been used against the northern Iraqi city of Erbil. The U.S. continues to partner with the Iraqi forces and the Kurdish ones as well. I'm not going to give a, a particular timetable because, uh, as I've said from the start, wherever and whenever U.S. personnel and facilities are threatened, uh, it's my obligation, uh, my responsibility as Commander-in-Chief, uh, to make sure that they are protected. And uh, we're not moving our embassy anytime soon. We're not moving our consulate anytime soon. And that means that, uh, given uh, the challenging security environment, uh, we're going to maintain vigilance and uh, ensure that uh, our people are safe. So Obama mentioning the embassy in Baghdad as well as the consulate in Erbil, the U.S. having hundreds of personnel in its Baghdad embassy. That means we could see strikes further into the country to protect American interests there, and especially if these militants maintain control of a crucial dam in Mosul north of Baghdad, which could affect that embassy. Susan? Well, Jessica, the obvious question, if there's no real timeline here, what is the end game? It's still unclear. Uh, completely all of the end game desires that the U.S. has. But right now, there's at least two we can point to. These U.S. airstrikes are supposed to help roll back the I.S. advance on Erbil. But over time, these strikes and aid drops are basically designed to support the Iraqi and Kurdish troops against I.S., the Islamic State, until the nation of Iraq chooses a new prime minister. And the U.S. is banking on that prime minister to bring the country together to fight Islamic State on its own. Jessica Stone reporting live in the newsroom. Thank you. And for